<laughs> Let's go guys. We've been waiting for it. It is here team of the season is upon us We don't have Austin Matthews, but we do have six very good names that could be troublesome cards Let's break them all down. Let's go over objectives go over moments go ev over everything We need to know plus I'm gonna head to the store and rip one of the team of the season packs because why not? Maybe we get lucky, but let's get into it guys I hope you do enjoy it if you do give it a thumbs up and leave in the comment section down below who you're going after first But oof, let's go boys so here we are celebrate the best of 23 24 with with nhl team of the season first team now their tweet did say one of three reveals so they teased us with the card art which by the way is absolutely fire this card art is awesome way better than the coin card art last year but they teased us with one of three so i'm going to assume that we're getting three weeks of team of the season and this is first team now matthews could be second team matthews could be third team Matthews might not be on it at all. I'm assuming he is, but this is great. Who do we got? We got Hellebuck, Kale McCarr, Quinn Hughes, Kucherov, McDavid, and McKinnon. So three of them are team of the years. So if you got those team of the years, you can switch them in if the card is better, which we will look at as well. In the objectives, you get three total event collectibles. So team of the year collectibles for completing these. And what do you have to do? You have to play 10 games. You have to get 250 hits. You have to get 250 snapshots. 20 blocks, 75 assists, 50 goals, 50 games played. And again, guys, that is with any player. Now I am bugged out. One of the previous events has gelled in with this one. Ignore that, it's just bugged out, it's fine. But that is what you have to do and you can do it with any player. It doesn't matter except for the 50 games right here where it says complete 50 games and rivals with one or more base items so does that mean a base event card a base probably just a base card base icon base whatever just go get mcdavid throw on your last line or something 50 games is not that many you'll be fine but that is how you're going to get three event collectibles now hot rush doesn't reset till tomorrow at five so we'll have to wait and see what hot rush offers us with team of season maybe we can squeak out a collectible at a hot rush a celebration of the best performances from outside of the nhl which is the world team of the season niku johnson spooner Lindbergh, pavel and vatnin so you know not bad 92 overalls and they will uh, same way as team of the season they go up as they get better cards so this isn't terrible we're going to look at those we're going to look at everybody and break them all down and see who's better now when it comes to team of the season moments something that was a little unfortunate is you can't earn collectibles in any of these moments as of right now maybe they change it maybe it wasn't supposed to be like this but as of right now these moments are nothing they're completely useless and they don't get you anywhere so if you wanted to get some of these player packs base packs mini packs prime packs that's up to you and it gives you a chance to play with the cards because they loan them to you, but it doesn't help towards the event collectibles at all. Now I'm gonna also mention we have four new Hut Elite cards, Theodore Lakinen, Velarde, and Pinto. Just gonna point those out, but we're not gonna look at them because we are diving into team of the season. Before we go look at the players, let's go to the store. We're gonna rip this pack to start it out great. Now there is a free daily pack in the store. It's a greater chance pack. What's it gonna give us? Who knows? It gives us a gold. 75 overall but he's an nhler so team builders if you're working on it right who doesn't like a free pack so 10 so 10 collectibles for 225,000. quick math this is 675,000 for 30 collectibles so when you break it all down the cost which we will do we'll go into sets at the very end of this video and we'll look at the cost of collectibles and maybe which is the best way to go but this is 675,000 coins for 30 collectibles so that means if you did it this way, which you'd only get 30 and you need 40, we'll, again, we'll look at sets after we look at the players. Um, you still have to work your way up to the last little bit. 30,000 for one collectible. I don't see that being a good deal. 75,000 for three collectibles. That's 25,000 collectible. Maybe that's a good deal. We'll get into that. But the pack that I want to open is 150,000. 25 players, all 80 pluses with a greater chance of team of the season. So let's go in 150 co 150,000 coins what does that get us and is it going to be great yuck they're non-tradable i didn't read that all the way through and not only are they non-tradable but i pull a brad marchand that is unfortunate they're not tradable do not open this pack for 150,000 coins i was not paying attention so yeah avoid this pack at all costs even if i pull something big here don't do it 85 overall do not open this pack 
do not open this pack. I made a mistake and did not realize that it was non-tradable. That could have at least been the 92 Pinto to make me feel better, but you know, it is what it is. Don't open this pack. 150,000 non-tradable? Unfortunate, unfortunate. So we didn't get anything big. We didn't even get a purple. And we can't get any value out of the pack whatsoever. It doesn't say non-tradable on it. It doesn't say non-tradable on it. What is that? I just got a pack full of non-tradable cards and it doesn't say non-tradable. Ah, I got had. Don't open this pack, guys. It's terrible. Now, of course, I got to go spend 200000 on the choice pack to see if that's non-tradable as well. Are we going to get... No. Okay, so it's tradable. EA, make up for what you just did to me. Make up for what you just did to me. You just gave me non-tradable cards that should have been tradable, and you know they should have been tradable, but we're going to get past that, and we're going to see what we can get out of this pack. The second round, not very good. Not very good. Hopefully the third round can pick up, and then we're going to go over and check out the team of the season cards because they look like they could be good, and it always comes down to abilities, guys. Always comes down to the abilities. The synergies are going to be everything it's what are the abilities and are they better than the team of the year cards for the ones that had them everything else is obviously going to be better fourth round not good fifth round is going to be oh my god not good not good not good oh god don't open any packs yikes yikes don't open any packs guys those were atrocious just a heads up. Did I say I like the card art? Because I like the card art. We might as well start with Kucherov, right? Gold Elite Edges. It's tricky, tape to tape, puck on a string, make it snappy and unstoppable force. And then when it comes to his synergies, this is all really team builds, but two way forward, sniper forward, power forward, playmaking forward, defensive boost, dangler boost, acceleration boost, and speed boost. And then checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, everything pretty much. This card has the kitchen sink in it. But you can get them up to 98 speed, 99 everything. This card is monstrous. Remember, all these cards are going to be fantastic. We're just looking at the card in general and which of these players are you going to want. But the card art's fire. Nathan McKinnon coming in with unstoppable force. Wheels, puck on a string, make it snappy. And 1T with elite edges. Now this is where we need to take a look and see what's better. So they both have wheels. One's silver, one's gold. They both... They both have make it snappy. They both have one T. They both have elite edges. So the difference is team of the year McKinnon has ankle breaker and team of the season has puck on a string. So there's no difference there, really. Um, you're, you're turning them in anyways, because when you turn in the team of the year, you get the team of the year back, plus you get the team of the season. So you're turning them in. So you're turning them in anyways, and you just see which one you like from there. And then Makar, the, 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 the bottom numbers, they're there for you to look at. We got enforcer defenseman. He's already 99 speed, so that doesn't matter. Two-way defenseman, defensive defenseman, and offensive defenseman. Okay. Speed boost, ang dangler boost, acceleration boost, defensive boost, and then checking, playmaking, and shooting boost. But the abilities. We got wheels, stick them up, quick pick, heat seeker, shutdown, and gold elite edges. So again, you're building them no matter what because you're getting both cards back. So this one has silver wheels, the same silver stick him up and silver quick pick so that's all the same it has gold heat seeker instead of silver heat seeker they both have elite edges but team of the season has gold elite edges and team of the season has shut down this one has one t so again it's preference and then connor you know he comes with two-way forward power forward playmaking forward sniper forward defensive boost dangler boost acceleration boost speed boost shooting boost checking boost playmaking boost the synergies have been all the same. It's like that combination is what they think is the right one. But I mean, this card is gross everywhere. But he comes with silver make it snappy, silver elite edges, ankle breaker, shrug it off, wheels, and unstoppable force is the gold one. And then when it comes to his team of the year, they both have silver make it snappy. They both have silver elite edges. The team of the season has silver wheels and gold unstoppable force. The team of the year has silver unstoppable force and gold wheels so that's preference and then born leader versus ankle breaker i would probably stick to the team of the year over the team of the season just because of the gold wheels if you prefer gold wheels and then i like born leader over ankle breaker so the team of the year in my opinion is better than the team of the season okay so now we're just gonna look at the rest we look at the team of the years so now we're just gonna blast through them so what we got out of quinn hughes 
elite edges tape to tape shrug it off thunderclap quick pick and born leader okay on a defenseman i like that because he's out there blocking shots that that could be good and then you know two-way defenseman defensive defenseman enforcer defenseman offensive defenseman speed boost defensive boost acceleration boost shooting boost checking boost playmaking boost and dangler boost they're gonna be the same so i'll breeze through them but i don't think i will go over them every single time because here we got vatanen and again the same synergies with the same list of boosts all the way across they're gonna be the same the only difference is this one has shooting boost in the third slot and checking boost in the second so they flipped up the order a little bit but he comes with shutdown elite edges quick pick send it one t and heat seeker all of those are fantastic calling on her hellebuck this is a goalie that gives me problems game in and game out and uh, i don't see that going away especially with this card he has light work extra padding post to post butterfly effect no timer and show stopper awesome card he's gonna be a problem now Lindbergh, tape to tape one t all alone yoink so I, i'm not a fan of the one i'm not a fan of the all alone in the yoink but it, okay close quarters hasn't been as good as last year and elite edges this card only has 90 speed this card's actually a rough build he better get some cards to help him jump up niku has no shutdown but he has quick pick and he's got everything to help him get up a little bit but again 90 speed stick him up seeing eye tape to tape in reverse and gold elite edges and we got a pavel who has gold unstoppable force no contest tape to tape puck on a string make it snappy and elite edges at least he has 92 speed for 92 overall card natalie spooner gold shrug it off tape to tape puck on a string make it snappy elite edges and unstoppable force natalie spooner's not a terrible build and five foot ten is not completely unusable if you do go builder you you might enjoy her johansson six foot on the little short side but it's okay he comes with showstopper post to post butterfly effect sponge extra padding and light work i like that a lot as well so these are your your cards your players how they're built and their builds but how are they built so first of all the collectibles is like what we thought it's going to be the same as the power up collectible path six this is good this will be a 91 so you get 91 overall players and higher gets you six collectibles so you know that's not terrible what are 91s going for right now so you can get them for 79 80 000. so that's going to be just like a little over 13,000 per 12,000 per because you get six so if it was 60,000 it'd be 10,000 per but it's a little higher than that so we say 15,000 per maybe 14,000 per in that area so 14,000 per if you do it at 91 now we're going to jump all the way down to where it's one for four so you get 188 for four collectibles so what is an 88 divided by four 55,000 for four you know that's not a bad price tag at all that's a little that's a little better but it's in around the same area 15,000 collectible that is why i wouldn't get the pack from the store because you're not saving there and you can get snipes this way when everyone gets their packs rolling and they start selling cards you'll be able to get these cards for cheaper so just be patient but don't get the one from the store that is a an aggressive ripoff so what are these cards going to cost in general 32 gets your random well we just looked at all the cards so you have a random chance of getting all those cards for 32 it doesn't say world it says week one so it's any of the week one cards you can get the msps you can get the regulars i would expect you get the 92s but you know tread with caution and then as for these it's costing you 40 collectibles so it's like 5.2 91 overalls and then your one for one exchange and then kucherov his 93 overall hut elite card plus 20 collectibles you can also make them and then mcdavid is a one for one trade and his x factor is a four four trade and an x factor so there's that but there it is guys you get the team of the season and the team of the year as your reward and then quinn hughes quinn hughes is 40 but quinn hughes is also nine with his x factor and 38 with his msp so if you don't have this msp already powered up don't do it this way if you have the msp powered up sure save yourself a couple collectibles but just do the 40 don't go and power up the msp and go from there Kale McCarr is 41 and 5. 5 is be for his X Factor. So that's not bad. 4, sorry. And then Hallibuck is 40 as well. So there are 40 collectibles for the cards. And then the last one is going to be Natalie Spooner. And that's just because of her team of the season for uh, her headliner card. 
38, you wouldn't go build the headliner card. You would just leave it as is. One tradable, one non-tradable. But you wouldn't build that headliner card if you haven't already. You just And then Natalie Spooner is 38 for hers. If you wanted her guaranteed, you have to do it this way, where you would have to go build her headliner and then come it in, or you just risk the reroll set. But that's how you get Natalie Spooner. Sorry for the extended length of this video, guys, but there's a lot to go over. Team of Season is here. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. If you are, throw that in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. Throw some love, guys, because this is a great time of year. I love Team of Season. It always gets fun. It always gets jam-packed. Everyone gets playing because they need collectibles. They need pack fodder. So everyone's playing everything, and there's always people everywhere. This is a fun time of the year, and I just can't wait to go get into it. So you guys, go get into it. Get everything you can, and until next time, ciao, ciao.